All right. So this is phase three, test three, same thing, of Chef Wiz's special breakfast cereal protein bars. I am in the phase of just making the um, uh, <laughs> solid, uh, yeah, solid, liquid, the solid portion. Right, so we're just going to do the blends of macro, no, not macronutrients because we're not adding. Um, <laughs> good thing this is only number three. Um, so all solids, right? I'm not going to mix up any liquids. There's not going to be any coconut oil or, or, or uh, peanut butter or nut butters and whatnot. Um, just finished mixing up another uh, powder. Powdered substance, so we're going to go over our mixes, and uh, this should be a lot better. Even though the outcome from test two was a surprise, a little bit better than what I uh, assumed or expected, the test went rather eh, um, but the taste, flavor, pretty good. And as far as the numbers go, I am pretty sure I've got two trays holding 12 bars each, which equals 24 bars, three bars a day on non-fasting days. Um, three, six, nine, 12. You're looking at two weeks worth of bars, three bars a day um, for four days, three days you fast. Um, Three bars a day should equate to roughly two servings of our green vibrance, which is basically the um, the uh, the foundation. I don't. I don't want to use that word. I want to use that word uh, lightly. You know, because this is simply just, uh, it's just a product that I, I don't want to say believe in, quite honestly. This is still a placebo effect. Um, except for one fasting trial, two fasting trials, actually, two or three. I think I've done two or three times where I've, um, uh, like I think they call it micro fasting, right? So you basically fast with just micronutrients, usually done in supplement form. This one's powerful. Guys, this is simply as far as the nutritional facts go. So basically, as far as marketing goes, the only thing that matters is the nutritional facts profile. Everything else is just marketing. All right, it's just, um, it's just for, it's just for the sell. Right? You can you can get away and 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 go off of those types of labels. You know, your soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, dairy-free, vegan-friendly, triple-tested for purity. And that's not even the real ones. You also want to see, um, you also want to see, like, tested or um, certified organic. All these labels that people will, um, c certified, certified labels uh, specifically. Um, I would say just by looking at it, it says about half of the ingredients are certified organic. What do you want? You want to go? Sorry, folks. Goodbye. Can you even get a break from the little one? Um, but yeah, so basically I believe in it simply because of, it is a profound list of ingredients. You see here, there's quite a few. It's very, very detailed oriented. If you want to look at it, just look it up online. It's very detailed. I'm not going to be able to even show you guys without it going, you know, all blurry and everything. So no matter. Um, I also bought the Maximum Vibrance one as well, which is essentially, honestly, I'm way more for the green vibrance because it's, it's way more micro dense, right? So the maximum vibrance essentially puts protein in it. Um, and it kind of cuts 
all the micros in like a quarter. So this is 60 servings. There's one scoop is one serving and there's 60 scoops, 60 servings essentially in the, in the, in the maximum vibrance. It's two scoops per serving and there's only 15 servings. So there's 30 scoops, but essentially it's way higher protein, 20 grams of protein per serving, whereas green vibrance is only two grams of protein. Um, the micro profiles are pretty similar, but obviously if you're going for micro density, you want, you know, you want to get as much in as possible. So, um, the good thing about the new mixture, the new mixture of powders that I made, um, might as well just go straight into it now, um, is that I used a full, full green vibrance to a half of a maximum vibrance, which is totally fine with me. I don't need the protein in powder form. I just don't. It's not a, it is absolute. I'm not looking for macronutrients in powder form. I'm just not. Do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna grab a couple more since. Yeah, so I'm just gonna run through what I made as far as this uh, this goes. So we have one full green vibrance in here and a half of a maximum vibrance. I also went on and did half of this guy here. It is their mushroom blend, mass uh, master blend mushroom plus protein. So preferably I just, I just want the mushroom blend. Um, I, I do recall reading it, but I didn't realize, I don't know why I didn't realize and I'm sure I did. I just didn't really care. Um, I want my, I want my micros. That's essentially what the powder is for purely micronutrients. Um, so the way this is looking, I'm looking at essentially, gosh, and I won't have the greatest breakdown of this in, uh, completely. I, I, I won't know the numbers for a while, but I used half the bag and one serving is one gram of a blend of mushrooms. Um, I'm sorry. It's technically two grams. No. Oh. So <laughs> two heaping scoops. 14 servings. Half the bag is essentially, yeah, I don't know how to really say it. Um, serving size, 37 grams, approximately two heaping scoops. So I put about seven servings of this in there. Um, yeah, I, I won't be able to tell you the numbers, folks. I really won't. That's why I'm telling you the bottom line of it is essentially the greens. And what I'm looking to do, the goal is to use the green vibrant scooper and make sure you're getting at least two scoops, two scoops, which is technically two servings, but I want, I need at least one serving of the green vibrants. Um, but because it's so packed with other stuff, we're gonna at least do two scoops of this per serving that I do for the, for the day. So three bars, two scoops, which means, whoa, three, six, nine, 12. If I do 12, if I do one tray, which is 12 bars, um, I will look at two, four, six, eight scoops of this. Um, and 12 bars, I believe just by going off of the last one is looking like, I'm gonna go with one of each. So I think I did it two of the oats. I didn't even finish. 
I'm just trying to do this in my head right now, that's all. I did two oats. I think I only did one oat. Wow. This is so hard. This is why we're going to do this, but I also don't watch these, so I don't even think it matters. I'm going to do one oat, one nut. I might do one of each seed, so hemp and chia seed. Um, but that might be too much as well. You know what? I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I really don't. This sucks. Um, yeah, we're going to have to play around with this again. But I think I'm going to stick to this profile because I also ended up... Because I lost, the problem with the last test was, be, was that I lost track of how much of the powder that I used. These, I think I had pretty well. I had one oat, one nut, one hemp, and one chia. That I can recall, um, but I also had to add in more powder later on, and I literally just lost track after a while. Um, but we're going to do that now. And I think because I did one of each of these guys, um, I also, and then I lost track of the, of the, of the um, um, butter, so sun butter and uh, almond butter. Um, get thrown into the mix uh, along with the honey and agave, which is just the, the sugar content, mixed in with the coconut oil. Um, and that equaled two full trays. So I got to make sure that I put in at least two, four, six, eight, sixteen 16 scoops 16 scoops with the same macro profile as before, which shouldn't be too bad. The problem is, that's a fuck ton of scoops. <laughs> and I don't know if it'll taste very well. Um, so, the, But the good news about the flavor is that I believe it should be upgraded. So in addition, right, green vibrance, maximum vibrance, um, Mushroom so far. So this, the maximum vibrance is a chocolate flavor. The mushroom is a vanilla. Um, so right there, it should at least balance out the green, seeing as we're looking at 11 and a quarter grams. That can't be right. Oh, wait a minute. That's for one scoop. I don't have, I, yeah, I couldn't do the, I couldn't do the math. Um, how many, how many, we're looking at 23.83 ounces. We'll say 24 ounces there. And then we did eighteen. So nine. Twenty-four here. Nine here. Twelve and nine. It's twenty-three. Yeah. So Half of a green, half of a maximum vibrance should be an additional 12 ounces plus the nine ounces from half this guy um, is 23 ounces on the mushroom, on the mushroom vanilla and maximum chocolate to 24 ounces of green vibrance. So right there, it's almost a balance between greens and chocolate and vanilla. Um, I also did a little killer, but I only used um, I only used half of this guy, which is still um, a lot. So spirulina, extremely potent um, algae, basically um, chlorophyll. Uh, chl chl uh, um, chlorophyll. Yeah, chlorophyll. Um, big on chlorophyll. Essentially, is what I'm going for. Gamma little egg acid. Hmm. Yeah, spirulina is good as fuck for you. Just just realize that. Excuse me. <laughs> really good. Spirulina and chlorella. Very important stuff. Um, and it's in green vibrance, but because we are adding stuff, we've got to add more greens. You've got to have at least like two to three grams in order to make a really big difference. I might even add more because it's so important. Um, but it's like 47 servings in this little guy. That's how potent it is. Um, 
We also added the adaptogen, adaptogen powder. So just gonna run off a couple things. Ashwagandha, rhodiola, tulsi, and chaga root. Ashwagandha is an herb, rhodiola is a root. Tulsi, it, tulsi is an herb, chaga is a mushroom. So adaptogens are simply for, I'm considering them energy. Very healthy energy. Um, used in traditional Ayurvedic therapies in Chinese cultures for centuries and are believed to support the body's ability to adapt and manage daily stressors. All right, so daily stressors, stressors, everybody's got them. You want to manage them. Guys, just relabel. I mean, everything is important unless you have specific dietary concerns that you talk about with your doctor before you watch Chef Wiz for any nutritional info. Um, like, it's all important, right? To me, it's, it's all important. And I have not taken any blood work at this point. I'm 34. I have no clue. I have no idea about what I can and can't take. It's easy for me to realize that I can't take in wing sauce and sauces um, because of what happens after a quote unquote Buffalo Wild Wing visit, you know, pizza. Um, but these are obvious things, you know, these are, these are the, these are the things you want once a week you want it as a cheap meal you know the stuff that is all natural all healthy your fruits your veggies um and your meat those are it anything outside of that realm when you get into the breads when you get into the pastas when you get into the sugars and sweets sweets not sugars even though uh sugar is a very uh gray area sugar from fruit fruit and sugar from sweets are still both bad for the uh diabetic right you don't want to just, you know, so you, a diabetic still can't have, I, I want to be careful. I'm sorry. I don't want to say anything too much because there are different types of diabetes, different types of blood. Uh, there are different types of the high blood pressure and whatnot. Um, anyway, so my goal is to just get it all in. Uh, moving on past the adaptogen powder. Um, and we only did half, by the way. We only did half of the adaptogen powder, so it's um, very small in the serving. We just want to get in a little bit more. Um, because collagen, support, almond fruit, schizandra, almond fruit, vitamin C, schizandra, antioxidant, maki berry, super fruit, acerola cherry, vitamin C, Cisbania leaf is good for biotin, hibiscus flower, phytonutrients, camu camu. I think is um, vitamin C, right? Pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure. Um, uh, yeah, and that's about it. We actually divided this into half this one, half of the other one, and we're going to be using both, by the way. I know I haven't talk, talked about the old one. Maybe I'll go through that in this one. Maybe I'll go through that as well. How are we looking here? 18 minutes. Jeez Louise. <laughs> we haven't even got anywhere yet. <laughs> um, we haven't even made it. Um, I also added the full guy. No, I divided this one. I divided this one in between both. So we'll get the full, uh, full guy of this. Um, goji berry. Pot. This is all immunity. All antioxidant. All... Yeah, antioxidants. So goji berry, pomegranate, pineapple, lemon, camu camu, Jerusalem, artichoke, acerola cherry, mushroom powder. So I think I mentioned this in the last one. And I literally just got a proof of... I'm going to break for a wash real quick. I'm just kidding. And then a full bag... Uh, 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 divided between both um, just for flavor acai really really flavorful so potent but just only acai there um, and then a full bag of maca um, adaptogen testosterone boosting um, great for a stress reliever um, I've got a whole other bag I've got plenty of more after this by the way I have a whole other um container ready i have three con i have two containers made one container that i can still make after this so i'm doing great i have plenty plenty of powders at the moment which is awesome 
So, moving on. Yeah, that is it for this one, it looks like. Um, yeah, I might as well run through the other one real, real quick just to do it. And this isn't going to be guaranteed because I think I just added all these together. For sure, I know that I did a, a bag of Maka Extreme. Bag of Maka Extreme, which is just an extremely potent form. Not a potent form, just... Um, I think it has... Yeah, four to one concentration of micro pulvinized maca root. Um, so it's just extremely potent. Um, I also did a bag of organic golden milk superfood blend, which is essentially, where are you? Turmeric, maca, goji berry, cinnamon, ginger, boswellia, cardamom, black pepper. Um, so a pretty good mix right there. Um, I doubt it's very potent for my body. I doubt it's extreme, uh, very, very potent. Um, I honestly can't remember. I'm pretty sure I put that whole thing in there though. So it could be a lot more potent than I thought. Yeah, it could be a lot more potent. This is one teaspoon, 56 servings per container. Um, yeah, that could be really fucking potent. Uh, adaptogens, by the way. I also did a bag of cacao, goji, and acai, and those are the only three. This is in the old one, by the way, which is in test two, phase two, or test two uh, bars. Um, I did a small bag of super greens powder, which is just more greens. Um, wheat, grass, kale, moringa, and spirulina. Man, oh day. These bars are baller, man. <laughs> um, that's pretty awesome. I did a bag of grass and shrooms which is cordyceps, shiitake, reishi, maitake, hamamatsutake, and turkey tail. So yeah, grass and shrooms, which is going to be wheat grass, alfalfa grass, barley grass, the mushroom blend, and yeah, that's it. Guys, we're going to be a freaking tank. <laughs> I also did a brain support, which is going to be wheat grass, lion's mane, uh, green tea leaf, matcha green tea, bacopa leaf, yeah, um, adaptogen powder, which is in the old one, but a, another bag, so same as the other one, and a camu powder, pure camu, vitamin C, yeah, so that's the old blend, powerful shit, and the old blend has also the green vibrance in it, so it sounds like a lot, but don't forget, they're, they're all together, um, and, and some of them are divided. So it's, it's concentrated, but it's also, um, it's also in bulk. So it's not like, um, it's not like it's all going to be there. Like I have to make sure that I get in more. I have to put in like 16 of these guys, not just two, you know? So we make this in bulk. That's the main thing here. Um, so Man of day. Essentially, so if this is one tablespoon, I think one tablespoon to one ounce, is that right? I don't think that's right. I'm just gonna test it just to see. But if I do one tablespoon, because I kind of just want to do one of these, and I'm pretty sure one tablespoon. say one tablespoon is just under an ounce. So what I'm going to do is actually upgrade to this guy and take away this just to keep everything very, very consistent um, and memorizing so I can memorize it easier. So um, I've mentioned this before. It is the Simply Granola or Simple Granola from BJ's. This I know it says... I know what it is, but uh, yeah, I like to keep things condensed. Um, granola, honey, granola, which is oats, honey, raisins, and almonds. Um, and I think like an oil blend in there. So we're going to do one of these. And I might do two just because we have such a big thing here. Um, I am going to do two. Hmm. 
I'm going to do I'm sorry because I'm, I, I, I'm kind of a space saver um, so if I did one, two, three, four and then one, two I think that's what we'll do. That's what we're gonna do. All right, and I know it's gonna be a little bit of a non-space saver. Oh man, it's just so light. I'm gonna do two of these. Whew, that kind of sucks. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna do <laughs> testing phase. Pretty sure I might do two of these. But I don't know if I want to. I'm going to stick with one for now. And this is five ounces each, by the way. Top of this is five instead of four. Those are the nuts, nuts, mix nuts. And we've got seeds. Yeah, I might just stick with one because this will compound here. This definitely is going to compound after four... Um, it's about 20 ounces, so it makes sense. Just want to see how the, um, yeah, I'm going to stick with one each because I want to make sure I nail, or nail not only the numbers, but the memory as well. I'm just going to stick with one. So you're going to see me do this. So I don't forget. Um, let's see what else we have. Yeah, so it's not a whole lot. It doesn't look like a whole lot. But overall, this might just come out to a tray when I do it, and that's kind of the goal. I want to make at least, I want to make one tray at a time, really. Um, and then, and then, and then just double it, right? But it's hard for me to remember all the, oh, it's hard for me to remember all the numbers. It's still the beginning. It's still, like I said, it's test three. This was gonna happen. I gotta really press those down. Close, close, and close. So that is that is four, which is twenty ounces, just under twenty ounces of this here. And I guess I'll do just one each of these just to see how it mixes for memory's sake so i'm going to do one full that's good one full guy here this is so exciting <laughs> By the way, have, have I ever mentioned about, have I ever mentioned how amazing this stuff is when you add um, weed butter? Oh man, it is what it is. I think this is the new one. How do I already forget? That can't be the new one. I thought I put the new one in the, in the blue lid, blue label. Hmm. I thought this was the new one I've already forgotten. I think the flavor is going to work on this. I really do. Um, this almost tastes a little berry-like. Acai really is profundant. Abundant. Um, and then we're going to do one scoop here. Yeah, so they're slightly different. You can tell the powders are different, maybe? Yeah, you can kind of tell. Um, one's a little bit darker, so there is a difference, which is pretty cool. Makes for a good subliminal, subliminal um, placebo effect that you're getting more. Uh, 
And to be quite honest, uh, that's it. Um, hopefully, this is only one tray. Now that I feel it, it already feels like more. So usually I do like, no, two scoops. Two scoops is for um, like my own cereal. Like if I made a, a bowl of cereal, I would do two scoops of this and then add the berries and the yogurt and the milk. Um, and it's just a baller, baller cereal. Um, but we are done with the cereal because it is so sugary. We're trying to eliminate the sugar. Um, granted, we add the honey and the agave to this. Um, but hey, you know, that's literally cutting the sugar by, oh my gosh, 75%. So we're going to mix this up. See what we got here. Um, I'm actually really excited. I have a ton of bars still. Um, like I have one, two, three, four, five, six more days worth of bars. Probably less because they're so addicting. Folks, so addicting. Um, they're not flavorful to the point where I would... Um, take them over uh like like the bars i have now i bought um be kind bars pretty sure those are known uh be kind has bars and i bought I think you're actually on your my um my camera stand is my bar bar box not the box but i put them in in, in something special um but they are, oh, I forgot what the other ones are. They're really Think, maybe maybe a brand called Think, maybe? I can't recall, I really can't, but they're so good, they're, they are addicting. The Be Kinds um, are just good, like I'll eat them. They are flavorful, like they have some good flavor. I do not like the texture of two of the flavors that I got. The coconut one is a great texture. Um, the other two are just really hard. Um, but the Think Bars, or whatever the heck they are called, are so addictive. They are barking amazing. The problem is, placebo effect is telling me that they are making me shit. I should not be eating them at all. I thought the Be Kinds were a little bit more healthy. This is kind of based on texture, really. The texture of the Be Kinds are um, very um, oaty and nutty, not flavor-wise, but the um, texture, like it's obvious. The be the other ones are much more, much more. Um, what, what 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 some might like like a detour bars or like this like a normal protein bar. I want to say normal, like I hate using the word. Um, but like an average protein bar that where the consistency is like is like can not candy. It's like caramel, or it's just very soft, and it's very consistent. It's like peanut butter, right? It's like peanut butter covered in chocolate, you know? Um, but it has, like, protein in it, so it just isn't working for me. I don't think it's, it is. I really don't. Sorry, I'm going off on so many tangents. Um, so this is, wow, 34 minutes. Yeah, there's not much of a, you can't really tell. There ain't much in there. Um, but yeah. Trying to make sure that you guys see such good lighting on this beautiful body. <laughs> I did some exercising today. It felt great by lifting logs. Um, I think that's about it, though. I kind of wanted to get to this point here, um, which is awesome. This is great. I'm pretty sure this might just be a, like one. This might just be about one tray, probably a little bit over. And if it is over, I'll just all in one. <laughs> really good um so 5 10 um i i i would like two, four, six, eight. Hmm. two scoops four scoops six scoops eight scoops i actually think we're good um and i have 10 ounces in there ratio 
actually good. I sent 16 of these before, but that was for two trays. So if this is for one tray and we have two of these, which is 10 of these, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll actually be okay. All right, I'm excited. I'm very excited for this. This is awesome. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna get out of here, give you guys some uh, room to realize um, that you guys are basically never gonna make anything better than this. It's, it's profoundly amazing. It's phenomenal. Nothing will ever compare to this. It's, it's, it's too much. I mean, if you can only imagine how much these would sell for, Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so eat expressively, um, cook expressively, and create expressively. Chef Wiz, Big Wiz, Mike Wiz, out giving you all the best of luck in the future. Goodbye.